Well, deliberations underway today in federal court in the trial of a Rexford woman accused of forcing another woman into slavery. Prosecutors say Annie George knew that her servant was in the country illegally and took advantage of that. Today, a readback of some testimony was requested, and Matt Markham has been following this trial since the beginning. He joins us live now outside U.S. District Court in Albany with more on that readback and just the general atmosphere of what's been going on down there today. Matt? Well, Liz, if you've ever been to any trials with jury deliberations, you know that there is kind of an anxiety that hangs around the courtroom while the jury is in its room uh, going over the fine details of the case. And this morning, they requested a readback of some of Annie George's testimony, specifically talking about an incident in which she walked into her home and saw the alleged slave, Valsama Matai, speaking with a gardener. That was in the, the uh, George family's home in Menands. I'm going to read you a quote from that testimony. Testimony now it says quote there's no need for him to be inside my kitchen talking to me and flirting with me or the maid now that word maid could be very important here as the jury deliberates because Annie George had testified that Valsama Matai was like family there was no employee employer agreement made However, the prosecution claims that George made no effort to help Miss Matai gain citizenship and kept the illegal alien a slave against her will. In its case, uh, the prosecution says Matai could have collected $317,000 over 66 months with the George family, when indeed she only collected $21,000 under the prosecution's uh, calculations. Now, the defense here, uh, defense attorney Mark Sacco is kind of walking around the courthouse waiting for things to uh, wrap up here. And earlier uh, today, we were talking, and he said that a, a, a big point that he hopes the jury considers here is the cultural aspect of this. Falsama Matai was Indian, so was Annie George. He says that it's not uncommon for an Indian family to have a visitor come in and stay with them for a little while. But again, if that testimony uh, is really focused on by jury, and Annie George says, that she had a maid, that could make a big difference. So we'll be waiting here to see what happens, and I'll bring it to you as soon as it does. Right now, we're in Albany. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.